Hi all, John from Jolly Johns here. As a Kodi user, you've more than likely used Exodus. Uh, it's the most popular video add-on available for all um, Kodi. But as most people would probably know, every time you select something to watch, there's a big list of streams that you've got to go through before, sometimes you might even go through 10 or 15 before you get one that works. But what would you do if I told you that you could make it play like YouTube? or Netflix, just by changing a few simple settings. Well, you're in luck. You'll be able to do this on any device, whether it be an Android TV box, a Amazon Fire Stick, or a PC. It's surprisingly simple, and will only take a few minutes to do. So sit back, pay attention, and before long you'll be watching Exodus as if it was Netflix. Okay, well here we are in our Kodi dashboard. Uh, to get things on the roll, um, we first have to go into our video add-ons and then on Exodus. Now, you don't want to open Exodus. What you want to do is if you're using a mouse, right click on Exodus. Or if you're using a Fire Stick or Android box, you press the little uh, button with the three ar arrows on it and you'll open up a little sub-menu here. Then you click on Add-on Settings. Now this will open up on your screen. Now to make this a one-click play, a bit like uh, Netflix, and it's going to make it so much easier to use, I'm just going to change a few settings here. So the first thing we have to do is change our provider's timeout. Change it to around about 17. Leave that on 17 and go through all these others. Make sure they're all the same. And they're all good. Now we want to go to playback. Next tab over. Now, what we want to do is change the default action to auto play. Then want to change our progress dialog to background. Now you want to set your maximum quality. Uh, if you've got um, good quality fast internet that's pretty well unlimited go to the highest resolution that you can select which is, will be 1080p. If your internet is restricted, low quality, not very fast, go for something like 720p. Um, I'm going to leave it on 1080p. Our internet is um, not the greatest, but it will be good enough. Next, um, you have to go across. To, next, we go across to providers. Now this is where you're going to get rid of um, the open load prompts. You know the ones that will pop prop, uh, pop up and say you have to uh, sign up to our website to be able to watch it. Please sign in, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're just annoying. They're going to slow you down and it's absolutely not necessary. So what we want to do is we're going to go through and turn some of these off. So, first of all, we'll just go down until we can find Movie 3. Yeah, there we go. Turn it off. Make sure that little circle is not highlighted. Uh, we'll keep going down to Online Dizzy. Online Dizzy. We'll turn it off. Torbo. Torbo, it's uh, one of those ones that's very similar. We need to go down to it, and we'll turn it off. Now we want to go down and turn one more off, which is called Watch Free. Uh, sorry, one more after that. X Movies, down the bottom here. Okay, once they're turned off, it's going to speed up a lot of things. We have got one more tab over here, another tab. Um, 
use this to get quicker responses and so forth generally you're gonna have to pay for this it's not necessary it kind of defeats the purpose of a free add-on um, it's it I personally I wouldn't even bother um, and there's your downloads and so forth subtitles so once you've made those uh, changes so we'll go over them real quick again change the provider timeout down to 17 then go back to your playback change your default action to autoplay your progress dialog to background set your maximum quality uh, to what you think your internet will be able to handle you can change these settings it doesn't really matter um, now if you want you can turn off the SD hosters in autoplay as well so you're only going to have high definition streams completely up to you um, I personally I'm going to leave that on because my internet at times isn't really very good um, and you also want to leave the resume playback turned on so that way um, it's going to kick off from where you finished watching it and our last one we're going to do is check make sure the um, providers who use the open loader connections um, which make you sign into the web other people's websites just to be able to watch it you just got to uncheck those so we go down to movie 3 make sure it's no longer highlighted online dizzy turn it off Torba, make sure it's unchecked watch free and X movies once they're all done we want to go down and click OK right now we'll I'm going to show you exactly what you've done now so we'll open up Exodus we'll select movies uh, go most popular and wait until you see now this that 17 second part where we lowered it sometimes it's going to take a little bit longer to actually like it might take 30 seconds or so but you know it's um it's still going to be pretty quick um, it's going to be a lot better than what you've had to put up with before so I'm just trying Deadpool here and um, you know the, you can see the time lapse counting down here we go I didn't have to select any streams it just started you can't ask much better than that uh, this makes Exodus a million times better in my books um, it is well worth it uh, if you've uh, if you just follow these simple steps you'll be laughing it is brilliant all right um, until next time thanks for watching I hope you found this very useful um, it's a nice little, nice little tip to speed things up. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time.